see. The heavens gonna know you receive when you respond. Mm -hmm. When you respond to it. You can just not see and let grass grow under your feet. Hello. And I'm gonna show you about God, God hates complaining people, he likes action. Right. I mean you, you I mean you gotta take this stuff and, and, and go for it. Give God, give the Holy Spirit something to do. Amen. I mean that that I mean you ain't in faith until you give God something to do that you can't do. You hear now? I ain't telling that you can afford because you can't put faith on the budget. Come on now. Uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna keep your faith, but I want you to budget. And when you come to me, now you know God. I'm glad God don't give us a script. Now you finna pray. Now watch your faith. I want you to pray right. What's on this script? Oh, that's too expensive. Don't pray that to me because I can't produce it. See, see, God, God ain't gonna say that. Hello. He said Ephesians three twenty nine to him that is able to do exceedingly, exceedingly abundantly all the leaves, exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think, according to the power, the faith, the wisdom, the knowledge that's in me. That working, working information, working faith. Yes. <coughs> Are you following me, mother? Mm -hmm. Ain't this time of people that's full of scriptures? Because there's people, a lot of people full of scriptures ain't doing nothing. Come on now. I've been one, one time walking around with a credit card and had him activated. Had benefits and had to take the time to activate it. Yeah, I just walked around there, walked around. It was in my pocket. I, just, I didn't take, I didn't feel like stopping to, uh, to, to plug it in and didn't feel like calling either. So I just rolled around with it and I said, well, that's just stupid. Some of us got worried we ain't activated. Mm -hmm. You got promises in you ain't you ain't activated. You living beneath the God level because you ain't activated the promises in your life. Yes. Yes. You ain't nothing I say. And it ain't the devil. You just ain't activated the provision that God didn't gave you. Mm -hmm. But that ain't the devil ain't got nothing to do with it. You ain't activating the promises. Yes. The word will work if you're working. Yes. I said the word will work if you work the word. Yes. Yes. This ain't stuff you just get preached to. This is your life. Thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, well, let me show you something. I'm sure you're something. I'm sure how the word is a party. Do you know the word is a part of you? Yes, it is. Do you know the word is you? Paul said we live in epistles, read it to be read. Read it to be read. I'm telling you, you get so much word downloaded in you, woman of God, to you, to you just set off a message when you walk in the room. Yes. How may I help you? I didn't ask for your help. <laughs> but they look like they, they got something you need. Are you, are you following them up? Mm -hmm. Living it ready to be raised. <laughs> what you gotta go while ago? Oh, go to, go to, go to, go to, go to. Before you go there, somewhere else I want you to go. Go to go. go we gonna go to Mark, but go to go to go to Galatians uh, one twenty seven. Colossians, Colossians one twenty seven. Somebody read that or do I need to go ahead and read it? God would make known what is the richest of the glory of this mystery. What is the richest of the glory? Of this mystery. Of this among, mystery. Go ahead. Among the Gentiles. Among the Gentiles, the heathens. Come on. Which is Christ in you. Christ in you. The hope of, the hope of glory. glory. So we can't lose, really. And we get the revelation of that. Come on here. We're not qualified to be broke. We're not qualified to be in confusion. We're not qualified to be in division. We're not qualified to be sick. Hello. Because Christ in you, the hope. What is the glory? It's a manifestation of God's goodness. Amen. Christ in you, the hope of glory. The manifestation of God's goodness. Yes. Christ, not outside of you, Christ in you. Now Christ, that ain't that ain't Jesus' last name. That, that means anointed one. Yes. The anointed one in you. Mm -hmm. The anointed one in you, the hope of glory. The, that's what that means. The anointed one in you. Jesus Christ. That's not his last name. That means the anointed, Jesus the anointed one. Mm -hmm. The anointed one in you, London, the hope of glory. I'm too anointed to leave, lose in this season. I'm too anointed to settle. Hallelujah. When God has given me the power to activate his goodness. Amen. 
I think I shared this a few weeks ago. Well, uh, well, I don't have the money to do this. I don't have the money. Well, you got enough righteousness to do it. Oh, if you can't get it with your money, you can get it by your righteousness, yeah. which means you're in right standing. You can get it by your favor. You can get it by His grace. You can get it by His mercy. Hmm? Come on, man. You, did you know when it's your season to have what you're supposed to have? If you don't have the money, God will make you yeah, somebody spend their money for, on you. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. You know somebody move out of their house and let you have it? Because it ain't nothing to them, but it's something to you. Anybody hearing this? Amen. You, you hearing this here? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's something ahead that's waiting on you. Amen. It's something great and big that's bigger than you that's waiting on you. Yes. Somebody else been babysitting it for you. Yes. You hear that? Yes. The problem you wanted, mother, somebody's babysitting the house till you get there. Right. Somebody babysitting. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. You heard that? Yes. Yes, I did. You can't want the thing without the thing wanting you. Yeah. Come on now. The thing wants you more than you want the thing. That's the word Romans said. Creation is groaning and travailing. For the manifestation of the Son of God. What does that mean? The house that says, I'm tired of this pimp living in me. I, where is London Billy? Where is Darling Andre? Come on now. Where is Mother? Where is Freedom? Where is, where is Yvette? Yeah. Come on. Hmm? Groaning. Come on, the opportunity is groaning for you. Amen. Somebody's waiting till you go in business so they can go to work for you. Right. Somebody's waiting for your for your service. Mm. And you need to get it going. Come on, God, you, you need to get that going. Jesus. The same God that was attacked for you, you need to get that going. Baby, you may start with a mop and a broom. Come on, we just man. seen a, a little boy. Didn't we? This the other day, six years old, entrepreneur on uh, Queen La what's, what's her name? Queen Latif. What's her name? Queen Latif. Yeah, yeah. Was almost just six years old. His mother needed the car, so the six-year-old boy went in business. <laughs> You y'all ain't hearing nothing. Mm -hmm. He said, Mama, you need a car. <laughs> and it was some kind of cookie business he went. And he said, Mama, he had an idea. He said, I can't cook, but you can cook, but I got the idea. You hear nothing. Yeah. This is the story. Come on now, yeah. say. The six-year-old boy yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. told his mother what to do. She cooked it. He worked. He pays her $25 a week. This 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 went by what's it called? What's it called? Bar, what is it? Send it by that. It went back. So anyway, on YouTube, and Queen Lit Queen, uh, what's her name? Queen Okay, her. She picked that up. Was was on get national attention now. She gave him yesterday, gave him ten thousand dollars and gave he said and because they didn't have a car and gave uh him which the mother has to drive it, a business, a new 2015, some kind of SUV mm -hmm. paid for. Little boy. This is a little boy, six-year-old boy. Entrepreneur, got his logo and everything. Now, he ain't got to pay his mama $25 no more. All right. Everybody's ordering the cookies. Little boy, come on down. Y'all got to y'all ain't getting the another story. This was a child that had a dark thought. Yeah. Seen mama need and said, Mama, I want you to work for me. Say. Put his mama to work. Say. Now they're getting buildings and everything going now. From a child. Don't despise the day. That's all all Whatever, let me see. Oh, here's a word. I feel this about the anointing. Whatever you're doing is not too small for God to get in and make it big. Whatever you're doing is not too small for God to make it to step in and make it big. Come on. You may not even have to have a broom to go with it. Oh, go and get, go and get you a soon name. Listen to me, mm. Sister Freedom. Go get the soon name for it. Go get you a soon name. Mm. Tell them about ten or fifteen dollars. Get the soon name mm. for your business. Do things in the rhythm and everything else to catch up with it. Twenty-five. 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 What's twenty-five? When you gonna make twenty-five million? Hello, come, come on. on. See. I, you know, I told you not too long ago on the line, and I'm refreshing your, your memory, but I seen you, I seen yesterday working in somebody's house, 
if this person had favored you. And to begin, you give you things beyond the contract. Can I share? Can I share? Share with you a woman. Here's another story. It's a real story. Mm -hmm. A woman was went to a woman's house to clean up her house, and she's cleaning up this woman's house, not knowing she cleaned up her own house. Mm -hmm. that uh -huh. She was cleaning the woman's house, and people start coming. The new furniture people start coming to the house, uh -huh. and start. And so I said, "Ma'am, uh, where you want this furniture?" Uh, uh, Miss Sonsa said, she said, well, I don't live here. Miss Sonsa lives here. But on here it says Miss Sonsa, which was her name. So I understand. She said, but this is the house. Where do you want this furniture? Yeah. And so he said, well, just put it over there. But sir, this is not up. But your name is on here. Uh -huh. She still ain't got it yet. <laughs> well, the woman that sent it, she went to a woman's house to clean up her house. But the woman had gave her the house. And she didn't know it yet. And so finally, the woman came out and said, this is your house. <laughs> you don't just have to hear about the miracles, you can be a part of them. Hello. Amen. Y'all hearing this here? Yes, Are you hearing this here? Yes, Are you hearing this here? Yes. This here? yes. See, God is moving. Yes, He is moving. I said, God, what people have in church, God is moving. Yes, He is. Okay. Who we leave off at? Something else I was giving. Oh, go to, I tell you how to go to Mark, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Mark 11, 23. 11, 23. Somebody, somebody read Mark 11, 23. For verily I say unto you. For verily I say unto you. That whatsoever shall, whatsoever shall say unto this mountain. Is it whosoever? That, oh, yeah. That whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Be thou removed, mm -hmm. and be thou cast into the sea, mm -hmm. and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. No it, limits. No limits. Read that again. See, we, we read it, but you got to read it to read you. Amen. For verily I say unto you. To who? To you. To everybody? To yes. No, it's to it's to it's to you. It's to whoever believe it. Ain't to everybody. Because everybody don't believe that. That's to you. You mean you. You follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Read that, read that, uh, Brother Billy or somebody. For surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain. Mm -hmm. Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. That's a blank check. That's a blank check. That's the key to get out of whatever we need. That's the key to, while he getting pissed off, no, no, I ain't gonna get pissed off and do something about this. We can have. So if we can say, we can speak to the issue. We can speak to the mountain. Whatever seems bigger than us. Yeah. Conversation can bring it down. Yeah. Who am I talking to? I am I talking to everybody? You get that mother you see? Read this, Sister Margo. Same scripture. For verily I say unto you. Verily I say unto you, my daughter. That whatsoever shall say unto this mountain, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever. I'm believing that the things that I say that are right out of my mouth are going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised if people believe with no expectation. They believe, but they see the worst. Their mouth says one thing, but they see the worst. Come on now. I'm praying to be healed, but I see the worst. Yeah. I'm praying to save the house, but I see myself out the house. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Mm -hmm. I can see everybody else on TV, but I can't see me. Mm -hmm. I'm praying about it, but I don't see how. God didn't ask you to see how. Come on he now. said, see it. Can't let your intellect get in. Amen? 
Uh, somebody look at um, um, look at look, look at Genesis one three. You getting that, brother Anthony? It ain't the end because it looks like the end. When you, what you do when you get to the end? You start over. I'll tell you, Genesis 1 3. Who I tell to read? I didn't tell anybody to read. Mm -hmm. I didn't? Okay, who want to read? Who? Who, who, who going to read what they read? Mm -hmm. Let somebody else read it, Sister, Sister Margo. I appreciate it. God said, There can't be light when there was light. Okay, Mother, slow down. I want you to read that, let that connect. God said, There can't be light when there was light. God said, Let there be light. That light is truth. Light is revelation. Mm -hmm. Light is direction. What does light give you? A sense of awareness. It lets you know what's available, what's there. When the light's on, you can't like you don't see it. Mm -hmm. You got no excuse for the light. Why are you stumbling in the light? Come on now. <laughs> why are you lying when truth is available? Say. Why did, why, did, why, why did you pick that when you know it was a snake? The light was on. Come on now. You knew it was a snake. You, you it, it hissed, it, it it bit, and you still accepted it, and you called it your best friend. Hmm? Read that again. God said, "If there be light, and there was light." What do you What do you need the light on the situation at? What you What 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 could you use some light? What, what could you use some truth? Hmm? Can, can anybody think of some errors? You ain't got to tell us. Can you think of some errors in your life you could use some light on the, on the situation? Mm -hmm. hmm? How many can use some wisdom on some situations? Amen. How many don't spend the, want to spend the next 12 months like you, like you did the last 12 months? How many is open for some new people to walk in your life? Yes. yes. How, how many can recognize that sometimes the new people may be the people you already know that you haven't accepted? Right. Hello. Yes. Come on now. How, how, how many know God ain't give you the more, more truth than you already used? Right. God give me wisdom. And so God goes back and tell you the same thing he told you last year. Mm -hmm. Now this is what I told you last year that you didn't do. So this still new. Mm -hmm. It's still in the box. Come on now. See. You never fitted this truth to your life. Come on now. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Lord, I want a promotion, but you ain't changed. Mm -hmm. I found out that, 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 that even managers or supervisors, they don't give you promotions because you need one. Mm -hmm. They Come give on. you promotions promotion because you're smart. Mm -hmm. Give you some wisdom. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Uh, read Genesis 1-3. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. Three. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. Now, now I, want, I, want, I want you to go back and read Genesis 1, and read all the way to 3, I believe. I'll stop you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Mm -hmm. And the earth was without form and void, mm -hmm. and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Mm -hmm. And the Spirit of God in moved the up Spirit of God moved. moved. Someone say, in the Spirit, Spirit of, of God, God moved. moved. When the Spirit, Spirit of God, God moved, moved, watch this here, it ain't trying to get you to quake and shake. Come on now. The Spirit of God moved, it's going to change something. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. That's going to affect the environment. Yes. Don't mean a sheep getting ready to get laid over you. Come on now. Big, big, we didn't see the sheep move. Sheep laid over you and they pack the stuff out of your house and put and put for sale signs on it while you laying on the floor. Say. That day over. Yeah. Now when the spirit moves, like pre probably preached years ago, he's a moving God. Come many, many years now. ago. He's a move. Someone say God's a moving God. God's yeah. a moving God. He's a moving God. God. Mm -hmm. While you sleep, he's moving. Yes. When you try to figure out, he's moving. Okay, read that again. One and go come on down again. In the beginning, uh -huh. God created the heaven and the earth. Uh -huh. 
and the earth was without form and void. Mm -hmm. and I, can't, I can't stay like this because that, that would be God. So keep reading. Okay. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. That ain't going to work either. And the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God. God hates darkness. He hates anything that's void and he hates darkness. Yeah. He hates God because that ain't what he's about. He don't like void in your life, none production in your life. Uh, he don't like it. the spirit for the move. If you uh, if you let it, he, he, he can't. He don't like darkness. Yes. I don't even like sitting up in the house in the dark. I tell my cut the light on. Amen. I don't like I don't like dark. I like a bunch of dark house. Amen. I remember one time I went over mother four and said it was dark. I said cut these lights on. I forgot I've got one in my house. Amen. I said excuse me, I didn't mean that. But I did mean that. We should be getting a time. I don't want to talk in the dark. Get these lights on. Don't talk to me in the dark. Let me see how I may not be talking to you. <laughs> Let me see what I'm talking to. How you doing? I don't know. Let me see your face. Amen. Come on. I mean, I was like, you gotta have some. And you know what? Let me tell you something. Here's, here's a prophetic word. Keep pencils and a paper in every room you in and lights. Some kind of light on in the house. Don't a pitch black house. Don't 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 be in a pitch black house. That's crazy. Amen. That's crazy. Have some kind of light on. Some type of light. That ain't even safe. A black eye. You stumbling over stuff. Come on, you about to leave out in the rust. You, you don't know what nothing is. Because you're already waking up discombobulated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Read. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Uh huh. And the earth was without form and void. Uh -huh. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Uh -huh. And the Spirit of God moved upon the on the face of the waters. Mm -hmm. And God said, And God said, Let there be light. Let there be and light. And there was light. Okay, read. And God saw the light. God said, Now God saw. Mm -hmm. He saw what he said. So I'm going to say he saw what he said. When you say it, you're going to see it. When you yeah. say it prophetically, you're going to see it. Mm -hmm. Y'all got to get that. Mm -hmm. When you say it, you don't even see it till you see it. Come on now. Amen. You got you, you to gotta, you gotta see this. But when you see it, you see it from within, out. Amen. See, there's a world out here. But there's a world outside. There's eyes that's back in, in your mind. Mm -hmm. that It's a whole nother world going on. Yeah. And when I ain't got enough room out here to move, I start looking, looking inwardly. Mm -hmm. I start coming up with some stuff. Come on, okay, that ain't going to work. Ain't nothing over there. Ain't nothing over there. Well, I know where it is. Mm -hmm. I know where it is. Christ in you what? The hope of glory. And God said, then he saw. He saw. Okay, yeah. and, and come, come on, finish reading. And God saw the, the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Mm -hmm. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the so morning. God said, he saw it, and then he called it. Put that down. Put them principles down. You got it? God said, then he saw it. And then he called it. He said it. Had nothing to do with money. He said it. Money is a result of conversation. Well, no visa the master cards in the garden. He didn't say, charge it. Like, mm -hmm. charging animals. Conversation. His words was full of miracles. Your words are full of miracles. Yes. Hmm? Hmm? Everything you need is hid up in the conversation. Everything you need is in the conversation. Some of y'all get ready to sit down and have a conversation and walk away with manifestation. Hallelujah. The money you thought you needed was hid in the conversation that, that you wouldn't have it. Y'all ain't something. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to help y'all now. Yes, sir. I'm going to sit down here in a minute, but I'm, I'm, I'm teaching now. Right. Yes, you are. I ain't trying to shout. See, Billy. Yes, you are. People are getting happy, but they ain't changing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in church, they just getting happy. They, everybody just moving and happy. Woo, woo. Okay. When you get through with that, that's where you go when you leave. You're going back to that dump that you don't like, that place you don't like. So that's what we're going to do. God, God is bigger than where you at. 
Amen. That do not have to be your life story where you're at right now. Mm -hmm. And if you're unhappy, that's a sign that you've outgrown that and get ready for where you belong. Right. Hallelujah. Don't complain about it. Come on, come on. Make something happen right there. Amen. And find yourself to the next place. Amen. And let me tell you something. You'd be surprised how, how quick you come out of something. You thank God. You'd be surprised how quick you come up out of that thing. <clears throat> While you complaining about it. I, you know what? I wrote a scripture. I was looking at a scripture the other day. Let me see that. Do I have it here? And it was dealing with complaining. Anybody ever had a complaint spirit? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> Anybody ever had a complaint spirit? Let me fair. I was right. You know, y'all yeah, got to excuse me because I mean, you know, I hear stuff and I just start right. I know y'all. I know y'all kind of ordinary, but I just, I just write. To, it's somewhere. But I was looking at that, and he, you know, you don't like them. You don't like complaining people. I'm on that. You don't like. You don't like complaining. I'm not trying to find it. It looked like I can't find it. I probably found it when I get in the car. <laughs> no, I, 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 was reading, I was looking at that before I came in. I was looking at that. Oh, Numbers. Go to Numbers. 11 and verse 1 and 2. Somebody read that for me. Numbers. Are y'all being blessed? Yes, sir. Ain't nothing like getting your mind right on track. Numbers 11. And when the people complain, mm -hmm. it displeased the Lord. And when the people complain, it displeased God. Some say, complain people displease. No, nothing please God but faith. When they begin to complain, it displeased God. Finish reading that. And the Lord heard it. And the Lord heard it. And his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And consumed them that were in the utmost parts of the camp. See, see God get you out of the sight when you sit there complaining. Mm -hmm. This complaint. Mm -hmm. See, that was moving God. Mm -hmm. only, only thing that moved God is faith. Mm -hmm. That's your complaint. I'm tired of this. I don't, okay, that just, no, what is you pissed off? And that ain't gonna work. That ain't moving to heaven. And you either. Hell is just cheering you on. Hell, hell is having a field day while you pissed off. And you follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. God is waiting for your praise. If you're at a place where you don't like, that's a place where you be. Write this down. A place that where you don't like is a place for you to be crazy. Are you hearing me, Frida? A place where you, whatever's going on in your life, be it spiritually, physically, mentally, or financially, if, if you don't like it, that's a place to be crazy. That's a place where you begin to do something different, come up with something different to do. If you don't like it, it ain't going to change it. It ain't gonna change it, you change it. You know, you can cuss, you can do whatever. When you get through cussing, you just cuss. But it ain't gonna change nothing. Amen? Amen. Okay. How do you know that God will answer you? If you if you're serious about what you're really supposed to be serious about, God will answer you. Go to go to Jeremiah 33 and 3. He said, call, uh, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty thing which thou knewest not, or thou knowest not. I wish y'all get this so y'all can run it in y'all spirit. Call upon me, and I will answer thee. Go ahead. I, you, you, you're like, you want to say it. I, I, I feel you. Go ahead. And call upon me and I will answer thee and show thee.